Hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play of Wargroove. My name is B-Knight and this is part 2. So last part, we pretty much just did the prologue and some tutorial missions. And now we're going to do some, probably some more tutorial missions. Up until we get to that forest area, then essentially the tutorials kind of end. But anyway, worst enemies forever. Unhappy with her defeat, Ragnar decides to take matters into her own hands. Whatever! So you've won. Who even cares? Sounds like my sister. Ugh. All you did was beat up a few lousy, stinking skeletons! No response. <laughs> I love that. Hold back. I care, and I won't stop until my kingdom is safe. Ugh. Enough messing around! I'll crush you! Myself! Well, I think this is what I learned about commanders. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ragna has moved deep into this region. She's even got a stronghold. A stronghold is a really important structure that anchors a faction to a region. To win, you can either defeat the stronghold or Ragna herself. I understand. I'm joining this fight personally. Look, over there, one of our knights has beaten us here. Knights are strong moving units, fast moving units. However, they're unable to capture structures. Only infantry and commanders can do that. Basically, any human foot soldiers. Knights sound great. Let's get started. <laughs> Hold your horses. It seems this knight is low on health. Uh, is there something we can do to help? Mm -hmm. There is. This is where reinforcement comes into play. Simply move a wounded unit next to one of your structures and select reinforce. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Sadly, structures are unable to regain health through reinforcement. However, their health will gradually be restored over time, also that of certain units. All structures regain 10% health every turn. <clears throat> and all commanders, such as yourself, regain 5%. That's very important to know, actually, that commanders heal themselves over time. Keep that in mind. So let's start with getting the knight unit, one of my favorite units, because I love knights, hence the name, be knight. Go over here and reinforce so we can use money and health from us. <laughs> From a building to heal units. Kind of useful in certain situations. Excellent. Our knights back to full health. Yes. Yes. Though it's important to note that reinforcing has its drawbacks. First, reinforcing a unit costs the amount of gold proportional to the unit's value. And second, the health restored to the unit is taken from the health of the structure. Got it. Reinforcement costs gold and transfer health from the structure. Okay, I should start by taking control of the barracks and nearby villages. Okay, so, for sort of business, let's grab this. Because we need a way to build units. Hey, hey, hey. Unfortunately, you cannot build the same thing you capture. Which stinks, but it makes sense. Now we're going to move Mercia forward to take, the, to take the village next turn, or to move forward. So I we're going to take that. Turn two. Mm -hmm. As commanders, you and Ragnar are both powerful units on the battlefield. You can easily take down most infantry units and enemy structures single-handedly. Most of the, like most of your strength as commanders, without risking your neck. But remember, the team that loses their commander also loses. I won't the let you down. Okay, I can do this. So yeah, most win conditions involve either taking down the enemy stronghold or defeating the enemy commander. So we'll do just that. Capture this. So Mercy can move forward. Let's take a look at Mercy, shall we? The heroic queen of Cherrystone fights for her people with the mighty Cherry Blade. So she's com considered a commander unit. She moves four spaces. And she's actually pretty darn strong. If you want to see how strong a unit is against certain units, you put hold X. Oh no. Well, you can do that too, but you can hold Y and I'll give you right here. So, they're effective against archers, swordsmen, structures, and bikemen. They're very, very good. And let's take a look at the knights. Powerful mobile ground unit. Critical, u critical hit when it attacks from a location six spaces away from where it starts. This is a very diff this is a very difficult crit to pull off, but if you can, they're re it's really good. These guys are monsters against structures, especially when they crit, but they cannot capture units themselves. They're considered part of the cavalry class, 
And they're getting us archers. Well, just like in history, cavalry craps on archers. Good against soldiers and villagers, but they suck against pikemen, which makes perfect sense. So hold on, where can you move? You can move up to here, so we're gonna... We're actually just gonna go... Wait, hold on. Thought processes. We're just gonna move up to here. We're just gonna go... We're just gonna go in. And we are going to build a pikeman. This pikeman is strong. Okay. <laughs> Ragnar just recruited a dread spear, a Felheim spe spearman. It would be prudent to check the spearman's info screen. I already did earlier, but okay. Let me direct your attention to the table at the bottom. This table tells us which units the spearman is especially effective against. Oh no, it says they're effective against the cavalry. Yes, spearmen deal extra damage against units such as our knights. Go ahead and close this window when you're ready. We've been through this already. We should make sure not to put our knight in, in unnecessary danger. This will be a good time to check the enemy's movement hmm. range. How do I do that? <laughs> Let me show you. Already did. Yep. I explained this earlier. While in this button, you can display how far this like, the unit can move. Awareness of our enemy's range is important when position your units. I should get the knight out of reach of the dress gear. Good thinking, my queen. Okay. So, because no one can honestly attack me here. I was gonna do this to deny them some gold. My village! Give that back! No. You won't get it back without a fight. Alright, so let's see how far we can move these guys. Can I park Mercy on a. Yeah, I can. Now, remember, swordsmen can crit next to, um, next to the commander. But the problem is if I put her here, put him here, Ragnar's gonna one-shot it, so we're just gonna move up like this. I want at least one other pikeman. Alright, cool. This is bad, but at least we'll crit back. Because I'm next to my commander. Yeah, Ragnar's gonna take that back. Now. It's not good, but we'll okay. And we're in the mountain, so we take more. We take less damage from the mountain because we're staying on a mountain tile. Interesting. Hmm. This part of Cherry Stone is more forested than everything. Yes. We may be able to use this to our advantage. Different terrain types have different advantages and disadvantages. You may have noticed that traveling through a forest will slow you down. Now that you mention it, it all, I also noticed that you didn't struggle with mountains. Mm -hmm. Additionally, such terrain will increase or decrease the defense of the unit. Force will give you a boost in defense while rivers make you more vulnerable. You can read a more about each terrain type by checking his talent. Thanks, I will learn, Rick. And that's why I put Mercia on the mound because she'll take more less damage. Because if you look in the bottom right corner, you see four shields. Which means I have more defense. Okay, so let's move on up. How much do you do? There's also a good screen here, the codex, so if you press X, you can see, you can select the unit on the left to see what they do to other units, so this pikeman will do on average, looks like 80% to these guys, so we don't have to attack with our foot soldier here. So we'll use our foot soldier here to bait out Ragna, you go in and destroy them. Easy peasy. Ah! Our useless skeletons! <sighs> if you surrender, we can just end this now. We don't have to keep fighting. Ah! Never! Alright, you heard the lady. Alright, let's go here. Can I attack this? That'd be juicy if I can. And because it's six miles away, it's six squares away, that's an instant crit. Let's do it! Knights are good for harassment. They really are. Boom! Really? Oh, okay, well, that happened. Uh, let's see. Should I go for a ranger? Let's go for a ranger. And Mercy's next move. I could get a first hit on Ragnar. 
Let's, let's do this instead, so I can charge our groove, which we'll talk about that in a Normally, commanders can one-shot footmen, but because that footman was in a uh, mountain, I didn't get to do that the first time. But only if I get the first strike, that'd be... Yeah, if not only Because when she pulls, she pulls a Captain America. Okay, now I'm putting Mercy in a lot of danger, but I think I can handle this. Okay, so we gotta protect our unit. So how do we do this? First and foremost, we got it. We have to do this. Okay. Now I need a backup Mercia. The question is, how do I do that? Okay, we're definitely gonna do this. Do I put her in a mountain or not? That's the big question I have to ask myself right now. Is it better to attack this? Deny them this so they can't build? I kind of like that, actually. Let's do it here because the grasslands are considered one tile defense, so let's do it from here. That way they can't build anymore. What? What? This is impossible! Wise decision. Great. Ragna can no longer recruit I'm soldiers. Ending this. That was the time. Let's take her down! Okay, so hold on. I have to think about this. So, a commander can do 40 fights under the commander on average. I have 35. Ragna's weak, but I'm thinking of a hide in the forest. Or rather, hold on. One, two, three. I may be able. Well, actually, hold on. I got an idea. I may. I may have to do this. I may die doing this, but I'm gonna try. Attack here. If I die, I die. I doubt it because Mercy can hold her own. She's pretty strong, and she has um. Yeah, although she's gonna heal a little bit, so I should be okay. Let's get another swordsman. Oh, well, let's see if I lose. Do I lose? Over, loser! What? Sorry. Okay, yep. This is why you don't overextend. I thought I could take it. No. Defeat me. I should focus more on critical hits. They really turn the tide of battle. Okay, so I overextended. But this is actually a good example of what I'm going to do. So now that I lost, I'm actually going to play up to turn five. And then I'll, uh, you know, come back to where we came from. So, I'll see you there. Okay. Alright, so, let's... Okay, right, we're turn 5 now. Okay, so, we'll pack up where we left off. So, we're gonna do this... This... Turn again. So, last turn, I actually managed to one-shot the barracks, which is great. But, let's see. Okay, so, I guess I wanna do this. Actually, hold on. I wanna stay just a little bit away from... Yeah, I wanna do that. So, what do I wanna do here? We might want to back up because Ragna will hurt us pretty hard. Oh, well, actually, no. We could. Wait, hold on. We have to think about this. So I don't want to die again. Because I noticed that the AI really likes attacking the hero unit if possible. So we're gonna we're gonna abuse that to our advantage. Do that. Uh huh. Okay. In. And we'll use the swordsmen because they're more mobile and we're about to win. They attack us, that's not good. Let's see if I can take this down. Okay, that's fine. She won't re she wants to reinforce, but she's not going to very well. So that's good for me. Let's see. I think we do this. Back up. Do this. Attack like so. And then move in. Do we have enough for a knight? Yes, we do. Let's build the knight. Because they're faster, they'll get to the battlefield sooner. 
and just move in. Alright, just keep moving in. We're pretty much just gonna go for the structure at this point. There's no reason to do otherwise. How much health does this thing have? 45. Um, yeah, as long as Ragnar cannot reach me. That's fine. I can use Mercy to distract here. Let's move you here. Yeah. And we also don't have to move the rest. Let her take that back. That's perfectly okay with me. I could attack her, but I think we're going to attack the structure instead. So let's move like this. Get a nice juicy crit. Oh, I can attack from here. Awesome. You have 49%. I shouldn't die yet. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. This should work. Actually, we should have done this. No, no, no. I want to attack the building now. Weaken it further. Move down here. So that way Mercia can jump in and destroy this thing. And we won! Yay! <laughs> you did it! Phew, that was tough. <gasps> I lost? That's impossible! <laughs> impossible? You must have cheated! Oh god, it's a little kid raging on Call of Duty. You hacker! <gasps> You cheated, didn't you? No. no. Uh. It seems pretty difficult to have a reasonable conversation with you. So I'm going to go. Yeah! You'd better run! Oh, snap. Hey! Uh. Lord Volta! Ragnar! Quiet, Sir Ragnar. You disgrace yourself. <laughs> Stand aside and let me fix your mess. Woo! A rank! Awesome. Alright, so next episode, I would normally do this now, but because this, this is actually pretty lo a long mission, I'm going to save it for the next video. With Cherry Stone overwhelmed, Mercia must get her people to safety. Okay. So, that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Later.